This is Agile in 3 Minutes, the simplest podcast that could possibly work. My name is Amitai Schleier. Could you do Agile on a desert island? Well, hang on a second. Agile isn't a bunch of things you go do. It doesn't consist of a set of practices. But it does seem to correlate strongly. If your team is moving with agility, there are a bunch of things you're probably doing. If you want your team to move with more agility, there are a handful of things you probably ought to try. Involve the customer early and often. Deploy early and often. Integrate early and often. Test early and often. Pair early and often. The Agile Manifesto lists only values and principles, not practices. How did there come to exist a commonly understood set of the Agile practices, the behaviors we know to be associated with effective software development in the Agile manner? Most likely because some reasonably smart software developers paid attention to what worked well in their contexts and what didn't, and every now and then got together to talk about it and try to generalize what they'd learned. Conditions under which it made sense to do more of something, when to do less, what else to try. They found a few simple but not easy practices that seemed to do the most good most of the time, and the word eventually got out to you and me. There are effective teams that do all the usual Agile practices, teams that do none, teams that do some. How can you decide which of them your team should do? What if there are other practices your team ought to be doing? Simple, but not easy. You, too, can pay attention to what works well in your context and what doesn't, and every now and then get together to talk about it. What to do more of. What to do less. What else to try. Inspect and adapt. Plan, do, check, act. Feedback loops at every scale of the development process. Minutes, hours, days, weeks. Small course corrections, early and often. Agility comes from a shared habit of paying attention to ourselves as we work and being willing to act on what we notice. And that's why, if I were trapped on a desert island with only one agile practice, It'd have to be the retrospective. I wouldn't have TDD, CI, or pairing. I might not even be good at retrospecting to begin with. But with plenty of time, I'd eventually get good at it, then rediscover all the other agile practices I'd need. Maybe even new ones. This has been Amitai Schleier, delivering an increment of Agile in 3 Minutes, the simplest podcast that could possibly work.